Hello and welcome to Sim UK. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the irks which bother me in Farming Simulator 2015. For me, there's a lack of realism, and lack of realism means lack of immersion. The vehicle cabins feel like they're an afterthought. There's no real detail, and the only moving part seems to be the steering wheel. But I'm glad to say that there are, thanks to some very talented modders, some enormous improvements across the board. And now I do feel excited about Farming Simulator 2015. If I may, I'd just like to quickly run you through some of the real issues that I had and some of the mods that I have found which improve things. So, whilst I appreciate that Farming Simulator 2015 is intended for all types of gamers, I just feel that if I set a simulator to hard level, then it should be damn near as real as is possible. And I don't think that enough attention has been paid to the inside of tractors. Externally, they look fantastic. Not perfect, but fantastic. And it is totally ruined, in my opinion, the second you step inside the tractor. Or any vehicle, for that matter. They all seem to have the same issue. One of the key things, externally, that always bothered me if you were to watch a vehicle drive across a field, you would not see the wheels or the chassis or the suspension react in any way to the ground over which it was passing. That's, that's a massive oversight for me. It's glaringly obvious. It just looks like a paper cutout being dragged across a photograph, as far as I'm concerned. But there's a fantastic mod which has been released that mod is called Real Terrain, and I shall leave a link to it in the description below. You can see here the difference is clear. If we look inside of the cabin, the only moving part is the steering wheel. None of the switches or hubs do anything at all. If I turn on the indicators, nothing happens. There is a noise, but other than that, internally, there's nothing to confirm we have the indicators on or off. That's bothered me for a long time. There is an awesome mod, which you must check out if you haven't, called the Class Exerion 4500. Forgive me if I pronounced that incorrectly. That has absolutely blown my mind. That's exactly what I've been waiting for. And I feel that this, this particular mod could well do for Farming Simulator 2015 what PMDG did for FSX. Returning to the signal issues, we have two fantastic mods which just totally change the experience of indicating in Farming Simulator. The auto off turn signal. Believe it or not, if you don't turn off your indicator, it will just keep going. I could understand that on tractors and vehicles from the 1960s, but anything more recent than that should really auto turn off the signal. Thankfully this mod does exactly that. The other mod that's really helpful in this endeavour is the Turn Signal Hub. This just gives you a, an indicator that your indicator's on. Very simple stuff, but makes a huge difference. It's, it's far more engaging to have some feedback inside the cabin. Realistic Roll Mod is another mod which <laughs> enables vehicles to roll off if you have not put the handbrake on. I like this. It uh, adds a sense of realism and, potentially, a level of calamity. Manual ignition. Anyone who's played Farming Simulator will know how frustrating that can be. Manual ignition is a mod which allows you to control whether the engine is running or not. Fantastic. And one of the greatest irks 
was the limitation provided by the AI. You can hire a worker, but what they can actually achieve is, is severely limited. Thankfully, there are two mods, Follow Me and Course Play. Once again, blow me out the water. Absolutely brilliant mods. And they change the face of farming simulator. It's tremendous what's happening with the modders at this time. There are quite literally thousands of mods available right now and to go through them all would just take forever. But for me, these are the key ones that have turned a game that I had no interest in into a game that I have great interest in. And the way things are going, I can see the modding just exploding and new features coming in all of the time. Already I've seen a whole bunch of new mods which I am extremely keen to get my hands on and uh, try out. And um, the next farming simulator, which will be released in 2017, uh, that, that I hope will incorporate all of these new features and push to better enhance the simulation environment. I'd love to see seasons introduced, damage to vehicles, maintenance, so many things that I'd, I'd, I'd like to see happening. Clouds that actually float in the sky. So much I'd like to see. And hopefully all of this will be incorporated and Farming Simulator will continue to grow and get better and better. Thank you.